What's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video I am going to show you uh, the assignment second of computer engineering second year uh, syllabus and uh, the problem statement for the second assignment is that we need to write a C++ or C program to store marks uh, for the first test of subject data structures and algorithms for N students and we need to compute average score of class highest score and lowest score of class marks scored by most of the students and list of the students who were absent for the test right so i have coded that uh, program so here is that program uh, the only change i forgot to do is uh, let me do it first and then i will show you what the program is all about Alright, so this is it should be here. Yes, that's it. And all right, so yeah, all good. So this is the program. So we have a student class in which we have rule number present, present which is a boolean if the student was present or not for the exam and marks. And we have these uh, accessors. Uh, these are these are the functions which are used to get the values. So so first one is get data, which is used to get the data from the user, and rest of the three are used to uh, get the values from this class. Right. So let's get started from the main class or uh, main function. So we have a main function in which we have declared some variables. So these are the variables which we will use in the cases. So we have four cases in our program. All right. Next, we are uh, we want the number of students. All right. So according to the number of students, we are creating objects. So this is the pointer to the uh, class student, and we are creating object for the for the number of students. So say n is the number of students which user is uh, giving us. All right. So once we have uh, the number of students, we can get the data from the user for each of the student, whether he was present or not, and his marks, his roll numbers, etc. So once that is done, then we will ask the user what he wants to do. He wants to get the average. He wants to see the highest score or lowest score or a uh, list of students who were absent or or most marks. Right. So. The choice we are asking from for, from the user. Once we had the choice, we will use it in the switch case. So the first case is the average. So in the average, what we will do, we have declared this average variable here, which is a float. All right. So it adds all the marks, and then we are dividing it by n. All right. So one thing to note here is, n is the total number of students. Whether the student is present or not, n will be fixed. Right. Even if it, he is absent, the average calculation part will consider him. All right. So that we need to see. Next is the these uh, highest score and lowest score. For this, we have two variables, high and low. So high is uh, initialized by minus one, and low is by nine ninety nine. So these are just initial values. They'll, these will be changed. Once we get the, the the first value, all right. So if you see in the code, s of i, which is the suppose it is zero, so the first marks of the candidate will obviously be greater than minus one. So it will be overridden here. Same is with the lowest. So it will be always less than nine ninety nine because marks are out of hundred. All right. So it, these will be overridden, and we will get high and low from this algorithm. We will display. So next is the most marks scored by the student. All right. So this is a bit complicated logic, but if you look at this carefully, you will get it. All right. We have two for loops, and we have this counter zero. All right. Then we, what we are doing, we are checking uh, each student's marks with an other student's marks. So first student, say we have s of i zero, is we are checking this marks with every other student's marks. And we are maintaining this count, and we have previous count as well. So previous count is initially zero. So if this will, add, its minimum value will be at one because 
it will match with itself so c will be always greater than 1 all right so it will override this value previous and which it which will be 1 initially after it overrides all right and in this way it checks for all the marks and the marks which is uh, scored by most of the students it will be in this marks variable once we have this we will print that marks okay and to get the uh, list of absent students we have this get present function so what the, it does it does is it uh, checks the boolean variable which we have declared in the class here if it is present it returns false and if it is true uh, if it is false then it it comes to else part and it will return true so whenever it it returns true we are printing that roll number okay as simple as that so let us run this say we have uh, three students one he was present for the exam his mark were say 35 next student is roll number is 2 he was again present his marks were say 65 and third he was absent all right so it will not ask for the marks now let us see the average average is 33.33 what it does it it adds both these values which comes out to be 100 and it divides it by 3 all right so let us do it again roll number 2 was again present say 3 so this time is present marks are 35 now let us see the highest marks and lowest marks highest marks highest is 65 and lowest is 35 right. again sorry yes he was present again okay is present marks say 35 marks obtained marks scored by most of the students so it will be 35 because two students have scored 35 all right let us run it again this was present this again and let us say 3 and he was absent this time So list of students who were absent, it should come out to be three. So roll number three was absent. So this shows the roll number. So this is it. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you got something from this video, do click on the like button, share this video. And if you want the code, it is given in the uh, the link for the code is given in in the description box below. And if you want any other code, do comment in the comment box. And thanks for watching.